Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. So I've been treating myself to some more coins to go in my date run and I've also treated myself to a to another uh, another nice coin and I've got a couple of things that I got for Christmas that I'm going to uh, going to share for you. Right, let's get into it. I'll start with this uh, one I got for Christmas before I show you the date run. So I've got this lovely little I Spy book. I Spy British Coins, 10 pence. Look at that with a, with a 50p and that on the back. Absolutely uh, cool beans. So big thanks to Auntie, uh, Auntie Chris and Uncle Peter for that. He also sent me these two coins, a 1981 large dial 50p which i think is fair to say i've seen better days if anyone's got any idea what uh, caused it to go that color please do let me know in the uh, in the comments i also got this cool isle of man two pence as well the detail on it awesome right i have trekked myself to this and it's a it's a bunk suffragettes i do like the suffragettes coin got plenty in circulation of circulated condition i should say and it was a bit of an impulse buy when I was buying all these larger 50p's that are not intended for circulation 50 pences. I kind of um, impulse bought this really. So have a think about what you think that might be worth or what I should have paid for. It's clearly been cut out of the annual set for 2003. And I'll let you know how much I paid for that a little bit uh, a little bit later on. Okay, so this is... Get that one out of the way. So this is all about completing the date run. So let me show you the... The two albums that I've got for my complete set of 50 pences. Trying to get everything from 1969 right the way through to date. And uh, I'm doing pretty well. You might have seen my other video where I got a lot of the larger 50 pences that were not intended for circulation. Well, hopefully I've now got the uh, I've now got the rest. So I need 1974, 84, 86, 87, 88, 95, 96 and 97. Then do it pretty well for circulated coins. Uncirculated in either 2009 Blue Peter, the 2010 uh, Shield, the Aquatics from 2011 with a line across the swimmer's face. Pretty certain I'm not going not gonna to get them, but I'm doing uh, pretty well for everything else. That's the first half, the red book. And the blue book is the second half starting in 2015 so i still need the irb version of the battle of britain so i've got the circulated version the jc but i need the irb i need the 2016 shield the 2018 shield but i've got everything else rather proud of it i'm filming this on new year's day in 2021 so the annual set hasn't come out yet for 2021 it's not due out until the 4th of january so, oh, I've got to put that. I've got a diversity coin as well. I can put uh, I can put that in. Found that uh, in our twelve days of Christmas coin hunt. So I have to get that diversity coin in. But yeah, up up to the twenty twenty snowman. So I'm quite sure it will be. Looks as though there's two fifty pence is going to go into the twenty twenty one annual set according to the promotional uh, photographs that come from the Royal Mint anyway. So I suppose it's going to be well. It's always out of date and it's ever it's never never ending year your 50 pence date run so let's concentrate on the older ones the ones that i need so i've got 1984 i think this one is so the 1984 britannia it's in bunk condition brilliant uncirculated and i paid eight pound 51 for that got the 1986 paid seven pound 53 1987, obviously they've all got the Britannia 50 pence written on. There's 1987, and I paid £10.50 for that one. 88 was a little bit more expensive at £12.50. Moving on to 95, so I've got all the others in between. There's 95, they are in good nick. Again, I think they've been in, these have been in annual sets and, and cut out. So I paid £10.51 for 1995. 1996, I'm surprised how expensive this was actually, 12 50 I can't argue with the condition. And 1997, £10.59. Now I've got a couple, couple of dilemmas. 
One is, should I have just bought the annual sets for some of the years and then cut out the 50p's and sold the, the rest of the coins? Because I think sometimes the annual sets go for, well, you might you might pay less than 10 quid sometimes. I think I've seen the 1984 recently. I mean, it wasn't a not intended circulation year for the 50p, the 84, I don't think. But I've seen that go for like six quid and you can pay more than six quid for the 1984 in good condition on its own. So it seems that annual sets generally are the way to go, buy an annual set and cut it up and sell the component parts. So that's the first dilemma. Should I, did I, did I go wrong by buying them individually? Although I did get them all from the same person and there wasn't any post charges. And my second dilemma is uh, regular viewers of the channel will know that I like to cut out the 50 pences out of their cardboard or plastic prison. And I'm just not sure I can do it to these because they are in such great condition. And I know I've done it with the proof coins in the in, in video that I uploaded a couple of weeks ago to help complete the date run. And I am gonna have to do it with this. I am gonna, this this was this was an example of where it was cheaper to buy the, the annual set. I paid £17.50 for the 1974 annual set. These are proof coins. It's got the mirrored finish. It did turn into a frosted finish as the as the years the years went on. Can't remember exactly 1980 something I think when they went from. Uh, in fact, it might actually be 1980. They're, they're, they're a frosted finish now. I'll give you an example of the proof coins that are a frosted finish because I'm sure I will have have some in here. There we go. So if you look at 19. 1989 look it's got a bit more of a a frosted finish to the queen whereas that one there is bunk so it's shiny 1990 looks like 91's proof as well got that more frosted look i might be wrong someone might be screaming at them but i reckon they're the there's wait wait and see that subtle difference between proof so proof being struck to just a higher quality a bit more pressure more pressure is applied. So yeah, proof coins are struck to a to a to a higher specification. The dies are nicely polished and well made, and more pressure gets applied when it strikes the strikes the coin. So it's a slightly better finish, or a much better finish than uh, than bunk, which is brilliant on circulators. That's not quite as uh, detailed. There, there's an example here. If you can see that one of a proof coin. That one there. 1971 that was out of an annual set so it's a mirrored finish that one rather than the frosted there's another one by the looks of it 75 can't remember which ones are in IFC now but which ones are circulated so yeah better quality so yes I'm in a bit of a dilemma do I they are such nice quality these bunk not proof but bunk but they are so nice and so well preserved do I just do I trim them and try and get them in cause against the grain well not for coin collectors because every you know a lot of people shouting at me for op opening things up and handling them. But I'm not sure. I might just trim them and might just see how it goes. But I am unfortunately going to have to bust this set, and it's a shame. It is a shame. I, I get that. Although they're not in they're not in fabulous condition. Certainly not that two pence. Some uh, certainly some signs of wear there. I mean the torn is one thing, but blow my neck. I'm not sure what's happened to that. Looks like it's rusted. Look at the back. Same with that half penny as well. So it's not in the best condition, although I've got to accept it, it does go back to 1974. But I do need that one out. I need, I need I do need to put that on my date run. So I've got I've got a few a couple of friends to help me. Um this is uh, this this is one of them. And then I've got a couple uh, a couple of other friends as well that are gonna help me get that one for 1974. But I'll do I'll do these ones first. I'm gonna give them a trim and then see if uh, see how they fit in the album and if not I'll be I'll be popping them out. Well, it does fit, it does go in. So I think, I think I'm gonna leave them in. See if they are in just such good, stunning, in stunning, such stunning condition. Well, for the rage anyway. Yep, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to, I'm gonna trim them and stick them there and stick them in.
Okay, that's got them in. Just need to now get 1974. And that's all the big 50p's complete. Okay, there's several minutes of trying to prize it all, but I can't. <sighs> So it's definitely got some tone and some discoloration. You can see that proof finish, that mirrored shiny finish that you got in the 70s. Bit of speckling there around the Queen's neck. And there it is. I know I just put some thumb thumbprints on it. I should really be wearing gloves, but I don't. Uh, I'm from the north. We don't wear we don't wear gloves like that. So that's them all in the album. I will show you that's uh, that Super Jets is coming up. I'll let you know how much I've paid for it, and stick that into the second part of the album. But here we are. So 1969 on the first page, right the way through to 1980. Second page starts at 81, down to 1992. You'll notice the portrait change here. 1984 it had that second portrait of the Queen. And in 1985, it changed to the third portrait. It's probably a good example there, that, so you can see it. The uh, McClough portrait, Raphael David McClough, the one with the Queen's necklace, and it stayed right the way to 1997. And as you got to page three, we've got the, the dual date, quite a desirable coin, that one, and the 92 93 for the EC presidency. And a lot of people's favourite, the, the D Day coin there in 19, 1994. And there we go, there's 1997, the last of the larger 50 pences. <laughs> that one's a right mess, but I found that in a coin room, so that's why I keep it in there. So that's the, the last uh, year of the McClough portrait. Changed to the IRB, Ian Rank Broadley, in 1998. And this is where the commemoratives then start to come thick and fast. fast. Oh, of course, so for Jets is in this album, not the second album. So we're going to switch that out for the, for the bunk version. To whip this out and I'm sure you'll agree that the, the condition of the bunk is far superior to that circulated coin it really is I can't help feel as though I've maybe it's overpaid a little bit how much did I pay for it I paid 14 pound and seven pence for the bunk coin really is nice condition mind Have a zoom in, see it all, it's glory. Look at that. It is one of my favourite 50p's, although I do have a lot. So did he overpay £14 and 7p? But it's definitely an album upgrade. Look at the difference between brilliant uncirculated and then something that's been in circulation for a number of years. Cool, so I'm gonna cut this, uh, I'm gonna cut this down. Oh, it's gone in. Definitely stands out as a compared to the two on either side of it. Aye, right, it's funny. Yeah, I don't know why I haven't took them out. I've took others. I've certainly paid more money for for coins and took them out. I mean, the Team GB coin from 2020. I bought that as part of the annual set and cut that out. It goes for about 25 to 30 quid and just oh, cut that out and up and and stuck it in. And of course, there's the queue there. Found that in the coins. A lot of people looking for that one. So yeah, I'm not sure why I've done that to be honest with you. But maybe one day I will take them take them back out. So there we go. That is that is my date run. Oh, one little mention to the stamps. £17.50 for that 1974 set, but I did get some cool stamps look. Let's see on it. Olympic and Paralympic uh, Olympic and Paralympic teams 1996. 
So I did get some cool stamps for the 17 pound, uh, 17 pound 50. Right, there's the carnage that is left. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little uh, date run video. I have done a, a full collection video for all my uh, non-circulated coins. And I'm also going to be doing one for all my circulated coins as well. So that, I've got that one coming up, so do, do look out for that one. Okay, thanks very much for joining me, and I'll see you in the next episode.